Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Michaela Space. I know y'all tired of seeing me in the shower, but I truly believe that a good wash and conditioning is the foundation to a healthy head of hair. So as I can tell by the title, I am going to go through my natural hair routine from start to finish that guarantees me length retention, moisture retention, and all the keys that you need to have a healthy head of hair. So I always start off by just completely saturating my hair for a good five minutes or more and just finger detangling, making sure I'm getting all the shed hair out of my head because I probably detangle once every one to two weeks, more every two weeks, and my hair tangles pretty easily. So I just want to make sure I am taking the proper measures to avoid any excessive tangling and just to avoid breakage. So, like I said, I just go in and just finger detangle and just rake and rake and rake until I'm comfortable with going in with my shampoo. So, before I even shampoo, I section off my hair into four parts. Why? Exactly, to avoid tangling. So, I always do four parts and start off in the back. So, when I shampoo, I always make sure that I'm using a moisturizing shampoo. My favorites have been the Care Care Jamaican Black Cast Oil and Coconut Oil Shampoo. And just most recently, this Miel Shampoo that I tried probably three weeks, four weeks ago. And I really love it. So, I just start in the scalp, get a good lather in, and I'll make sure I'm scrubbing from root to ends thoroughly. Make sure you are getting your hair clean. Clean hair is the key from scalp to ends. And I'm going to thoroughly rinse that out, twist it up, and go on to my next section. Uh, <laughs> go on to my next section. Like I said, making sure that your hair is just like thoroughly clean just gives you a clean base and a clean foundation to apply more nourishment, more treatment with your conditioner, with your leave-in. See, I tried to be cute, but that wasn't cute. Um, but yeah, it just gives you a clean foundation. So then I go in with a reliable conditioner that I like to use. Um, I gravitate to Shea Moisture conditioners. I personally like their conditioners. I know people talk about like a formula change with their line, but I haven't really noticed a difference. Um, they're not too thick for my, well, the ones that I've tried, especially this Jamaican black castor oil conditioner, conditioner, it's not too thick and I'm able to like rub it in. You can see it just not sitting on top of my hair. It's actually absorbing into my hair and my hair feels extremely soft and moisturized and hydrated. Um, and yeah, I don't have to apply like an excessive amount of product and waste it. So after I leave in my conditioner for about five to 10 minutes, I make sure I thoroughly rinse it out. In the past, I used to leave in some of the conditioner, but I've just gotten accustomed to not leaving in the conditioner. Um, the products I use suffice. Um, but I also would go in with a deep conditioner. Um, I tend to do that in the colder months but winter ain't been wintering like it used to. So it's been in the 40s as of lately. So I'm not going in with a deep conditioner today. It's more so, like I said, November, December, or January. Um, but yeah, I just tie my hair up with a cotton t-shirt. I know y'all have seen in other videos that I use a bag, but like I said, that's when I'm trying to get aqua moisture and that's in the winter months. I need to start doing my little thumb direction the right way for my transition. 
But anyway, um, as y'all can see, my hair looks shiny. It may not look as shiny to y'all, but this looks shiny to me. And my hair looks like heavy and it looks like it's holding water. Um, I can tell the difference when my hair is just like extremely dry and when it's actually, like I said, holding the water and the products are actually in my hair. And as you can see now, my hair looks heavy. I hope that made sense, but my hair looks good after that wash. So now I am going in with my products that I leave in and styling. I'm over here trying to figure out how I'm going to part my hair because I don't like to part my hair with a comb. It's just, it's just not for me. I'm just lazy and I just don't care. And I'm not wearing my hair anywhere for me to care that much, at least now. But I go in with my trusty green shower comb. I've used this shower comb since the first day i've been natural it works great for detangling my hair anything with like smaller bristles or smaller teeth is just not it's just not for me um and i experienced excessive breaking with those products not products with those tools that's the word i'm looking for with those tools um and like i said this is about length retention and i already got all the shit hair out when i was in the shower um, but I go in with my leave-in, my absolute favorite number one leave-in conditioner is by Camille Rose. It's that honey conditioner. I think it sells for like $14, $15, but it's worth every penny to me. It is on the expensive side, but I love it. It lasts me about maybe two or three styling days, so about a month. Um, but... I am styling my hair in braids. Yes, I know this may not be everyone's go-to, but like I said, this natural hair routine is for length retention and moisture retention. And I notice that I get the most retention when I wear my hair in some type of twist or braids and not too small and not too big. This size is perfect for me because Sometimes I feel like the smaller ones um, cause breakage and the bigger ones are just ugly, <laughs> too ugly for me to wear. So I really like this size and it literally takes me like 40 minutes to an hour to do this whole style. And that's not a long time for me. Um, as y'all can tell, when I get into the coarser parts of my hair or not the coarser, but like the kinkier parts of my hair, I make sure my sections are smaller detangling and small sections works for me and helps me avoid breakage um and my hair is denser as well so the smaller the sections the easier it is to detangle the less breakage like i said length retention and moisture retention is my goal um when it comes to my hair at least um the product that i use i use one product which is that leave-in See, y'all see the middle of my head? That's that's me not really following through with my routine that I do. I've been lazy, very lazy, and just tired. But um, back to the product, yeah. My leave-in with the, the Honey Camille Rose leave-in conditioner, um, I really just like it because my hair is always thirsty and it always needs some type of moisture. I have low prosy hair, so... I guess it's going to sound kind of weird because low porosity retains moisture longer, which my hair does, but it's still, oh, it's hard to explain. I I tend to reach for products with humectant ingredients and honey is a great humectant um, for your hair. Sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just really trying to make sure I get everything in. But yeah, I just go in and braid the rest of my hair. Y'all don't got to do braids, but like I said, for me, this is just this is just what works for me. I, this lasts for a week, a week and a half, two weeks. I don't really have to worry about using more product, spraying my hair all the time. I, it's just literally wake up and go. So I'm back and this is how my hair looks. I couldn't find the oil that I usually go for. Um, second in line, it's always gonna be the Jamaican black cast oil. I just apply it to my scalp and that's pretty much it. If y'all are looking for styles, I'm not really like the style girl when it comes to this, but yeah, excuse the, the deodorant. 
I'm not really the style girl when it comes to how I'm, how I would style my braids because I really don't. I just wake up, put in a ponytail, and go. Um, but if y'all are looking for some styles because y'all think the braids are just not it for you, then this is me trying to give y'all some inspiration. So this routine may or may not be for you. It works for me just because it aligns with where I want my hair to be. Um, I like to prioritize moisture slash how it feels. I know my hair is moisturized and hydrated based on how it feels. And I like to prioritize length. And how I'm going to get length is low manipulation styles, just like these braids. Um, but if you don't struggle with any of that, then of course, feel free to try something else. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, you guys.